Hey everyone, um, I decided to do a video, not because I wanted to, just because I'm being prompted to, and I was literally laying in bed, and like not, I wasn't sleeping or anything, I was just kind of laying down because I was trying to find a, a thumbnail for one of the videos, and it's one where I talk about magic and crap and bad, bad intentions, and the second... Oh, because I looked up Magic Returned. And I was looking up images and it's that World of Warcraft fucking crap or the magic cards. I don't know what the hell they are. I don't I don't do that shit shit. Blah, blah, blah. But anyways. Um I'm like, oh, some of these pictures are cool though. Maybe I'll use one of those. And all of a sudden, because it's happened to me in the shower the other day. I've already talked about it. Um yeah, my <sighs> I don't want that to keep happening. It's pissing me off. It's a breathe. She has breathing issues. She has breathing issues. I don't know, but um, okay. Some of what I'm going to say literally happened to me, and I went to the hospital for it and all that crap. But, Spirit's doing this right now. Like, it's not it's not happening to me right this second. And, Joe is showing me. He's, he's reminding me, because he died in a similar way or something. Like, not fully, but, I don't know. Um, exactly what the fucking tie is here because I'm literally laying there on my stomach and all of a sudden I'm like, I can't breathe. Like it's getting restricted and I literally felt like I couldn't fucking breathe. And then I sat up and I started heaving like I was going to vomit and nothing came out because I haven't eaten. And I wasn't eating at that time because I was like staying away from shit because I was like, fuck this. Someone's putting shit in my food. I'm not eating. I'm not going to eat it. I'm just going to get my own shit somewhere else. Joe literally did that. He'd say that stuff too. Was that a spiritual experience that night? No, it wasn't. It was similar. Okay. Because I keep going like, this is, there's just a parallels and I don't like it. Because <coughs> <coughs> mm -hmm. someone doesn't want me to speak, but I couldn't speak. Mm -hmm. Now I'm getting squeaky again. There's a lot of videos where I was doing readings and when my own energy would come in, I couldn't speak. I would, my voice was low, raspy, squeaky, whatever, couldn't sing anymore, nothing. It's just like, it's, ah, my chest. Yeah. Okay, so let me finish. So anyways, I fucking was heaving just now. Like it just, nothing came out but spit. But that night, the same thing happened. I'm like, oh, my chest hurts. I can't breathe. And then I started like rolling over and like just spitting and like heaving. And I was like, what the fuck is going on? My shoulder was hurting. Like I had all those symptoms of a heart attack basically that lead up to one. And yeah, and I was just laying there and I was freezing. I was so cold. Like I was like shivering and put a sweatshirt on. That's what I did before I climbed into bed because I heard spirit told me basically they said fight to stay warm. And that's what I did. I put on my sweatpants, my fucking sweatshirt. It was my own sweatshirt, not this one. Um, and I bundled up, I turned a heat around and everything. And I was just started shivering, shivering, shivering. And then all of a sudden it felt like a warm hug like somebody was behind me warming me up and it was spiritual because there's no one fucking there I'm just saying and um <sighs> then all of a sudden I got really warm and I was just like oh thank goodness but the pains wouldn't stop oh man I got indigestion really bad now so anyways I laid there for like an hour I kind of fell asleep or tried to I don't know for how long because I couldn't sleep, it hurt, it sucked. 
the same thing happened to him. I fucking know it. Yeah, I couldn't sleep. It was driving me crazy. And I'm just like, should I, should I call for help? Should I, should I say something? Like, I wouldn't call for help. I ain't calling the cops. I ain't doing none of that shit. I was like, I think they got fucking nuts anyway. So I was like, I'd rather die here if that's what's going to happen. And, um, I literally said that me, Jessica, but that's Joe's mentality too. Just saying, um, so, anywho, I don't think that he thought he was really going to die, though. I mean, I thought I was going to die that night. I'm like, I think this might be it. But then I heard, no, you'll be okay. And I was just like, okay, thank God. But I don't know what that means. So, that's why I laid there for so long. I couldn't really move anyways. I was, like, literally so weak. I couldn't even, like, I don't know. I was just so weak. And I had dialed. I didn't dial any numbers because I couldn't even really see my phone. It was laying down and messenger was right there. And this so-called friend of mine, um, I had told him a while ago, like if I ever send you 911, that means I need fucking help. And it's, that's my 911 call, you know? Um, so it's serious if I do that, it's not a joke or anything. And he said, okay. Cause I was, that was, I told him that, before Christmas and stuff when all that fucking stupid shit was happening where I was getting slipped stuff. I, I, I'm telling you, liquid acid. I don't give a fuck what anyone says or thinks. It happened. I'm not an idiot. But anyways, <coughs> there's other crap in this too. <clears throat> Whew, so I dialed the phone. Well, didn't dial it, whatever. I did not the 911 thing on, on Messenger. And then I hit the call thing, but I didn't pick up the phone. Like, I didn't hold it. Oh, sorry. I shouldn't be doing that. I'm recording. Um, I didn't hold it up because it couldn't. I was so weak. I was just, like, literally laying there saying, please help me. And I kept saying that over and over. And... I heard him say a few things, but I don't know what he said because I couldn't really hear. I just knew someone was saying something. He was on the phone for eight minutes listening to me. No phone call, no help, no nothing. And then I also heard in a reading I did yesterday at one point, or was it the story time one? It was the story time one. I heard, I love you. And... Um, and then I said, I think she's telling him that. And I, in the moment I was me personally, Jessica, in that moment when I was recording, I was, um, thinking it was the tow truck driver's daughter that was saying that to him. And she was, but that's not what it means. I literally was thinking in my head, like if I'm going to die, I need to tell that person that I love him. And that was the last thing I said before I realized that he wasn't even on the line anymore, that the line was dead. And whoever was listening to me besides him, they were saying, I just heard I love you. I think she's saying that to him. I seriously feel like that's what that was. And because that's what it was. But anyways, I tried to punch the wall like boom, boom. But I couldn't get enough momentum up to do it. And it wasn't really loud. And my son was downstairs. He wasn't across the hall and stuff. And his friend, the one that's not here anymore, that's not um, not living in the house anymore, he was asleep downstairs too. Or no, he was across the hall, wasn't he? He went across the hall when Logan finally came up here after I fell off the fucking bed. Because I kicked the wall and nobody heard me too. I hurt my fucking toe. I hurt my toe. Doing that. And then... um, I don't know, in the contacts, like under... 
you know, when you text someone, you can call them right from the text message or whatever sometimes. I hit my dad's number <coughs> and called him because I refused to call 911 because of how they treated me. And they treated me like shit that night, too. I'm just saying, like, it was, it was just the most fucked up situation ever. I was like, what the fuck is this, you know? That sounds like something my dad would say. <laughs> Probably was thinking, like, what the fuck? Anyway, I think he said that. I think he did. Anyways, he's scrambling for a number and shit, and I'm, like, trying to get Logan's attention still. And I think I had just left the phone on the bed because I was like, I got to get help and i mustered up enough strength this tow truck driver told me this shit about his daughter too i'm just saying except she stopped breathing anyways it's just weird that i don't know because it's not all spirit you know what i'm saying there are fuck, fucked up people in this situation so anyways, um, I rolled off the bed. I hurt my hip. Well, in that story time video, uh, my hip was hurting and I woke up with it hurting. I'm like, why the fuck's my hip hurt? It's cause fucking because of that night. And I was reminded of that. And I'm like, why the fuck am I being reminded of that? We let it go. You know? Well, when I hit the floor, it hurt and it hurt. Oh yeah. It hurt the palms in my hands too, because I hit the fucking carpet and I started army crawling. <coughs> I started army crawling. My hair is just horrible. Holy crap. Anyways, whatever. I just don't care. Um, someone's smoking right now. They're sitting at, They're sitting in a chair or they're sitting outside. They're doing something, having a cigarette. Cause that's, someone just doesn't fucking care apparently. We have the I don't give a fuck care bear that does, doesn't care. So anyways, I army crawled to the door, to the, do, 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 to the doorway and yelled to Logan. He finally came upstairs and I'm just on the floor. I'm like, I need help. But I kept saying it really slow because I couldn't breathe. I couldn't talk. I'm just like, I need help. And then it's like, I kept saying, just help me. Does someone fucking help me? So Logan's on, sitting on the edge of my bed, where one of the pennies was, by the way. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> I hate it when I get pains like that because it's just weird. But anyways, the penny was sitting right where Logan was. Hmm. There was one right there, too, which is where I was on the floor. Um, so Logan just sat there and my dad's kind of going like, what the fuck's going on? You know, like what's going on? He didn't know he was on the phone and nobody was really saying anything. And Logan's just staring at me, just sitting there staring at me. And he told me he was really tired, which is why, but I'm sorry. It bothered me. I'm like, if that was my mother, I would have been like, give me the fucking phone. I'm calling someone, you know, whatever. I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have done that. I'm just saying. No, I wouldn't have. So, anyways. Um. He goes down to get his father. And that was before I kicked him out. Which, he's back here because of the road of fucking bullshit. And it's supposed to be temporary. I don't know. I just don't fucking know. And I'm getting sick and tired of this shit. I really am. I don't care if... If he's the one that's going to get sick and tired of it, I don't give a shit who is annoyed by me saying this because I'm saying it for a fucking reason. Because history will repeat itself, different faces, different fucking places, not to mention the same motherfucking thing, similar, because he didn't roll off the bed and all that crap. No, he didn't. Because um, he was in the living room, but he did try to go to sleep because sleep and stuff. Whatever. We'll get into Joe in a minute. Ow, my fucking neck. Felt like I just pulled a muscle. Because I was sleeping wrong or something. Well, maybe that's how he felt. Because he was laying in a weird position on the couch. You know what's weird too? Is I know I wasn't there. I didn't see his body on the couch. Because I literally showed up when they were... The coroner was there pulling him out of the house in a body bag. But I know exactly 
how he was laying and I know exactly what he looks like on that couch when I looked at it I remember seeing him laying there but in real life like in reality or whatever like not in the dream space not in whatever like psychic visions it feel it felt like I was fucking there like I was like oh my god like I could see him but and I can but anyways um yeah I'm, it must it, I might I might be picking up on somebody else's memory too that could be what that is um, or he's just showing me who the fuck knows. But I, for some reason, I fucking remember as if I was sitting right there, just watching the whole thing happen. Someone was sitting somewhere watching the whole thing happen and not just spiritually, just saying. Anyways, he gets, my son gets his father and he comes up without the fucking phone, without his phone and just stands there like a creeper, just hovering over me, staring at me like, what do you need? What's going on? I'm like, I can't. I'm getting sick of trying to fucking ask for help because my son didn't even just say, oh, mom says, you know, it's her heart or something. She thinks it's a heart attack. She needs help or she needs help. I don't know. Like nobody said nothing. And I'm just like, oh, you know, why the fuck did I even try to get help? Why? Because what the fuck, you know? So anyways, he goes downstairs, gets the phone. I don't know, he went down three times. Okay, yeah, he got the phone the second time. But he still didn't call right away, and he was nonchalantly walking, wicked slow. Like, it was either, there's some fucked up shit here. Just saying, there really is. Or he just, he doesn't give a shit, or he, what, he didn't believe me. I don't fucking know what the fuck it was or what his excuse is, but that that's bullshit. It's fucking... Well, who does that? So anyways, he comes up finally and gets on the phone and he's all like calm, which one of my 911 calls that I literally made when I was tripping fucking balls and didn't know it at the time. Um, I, one of the 911 calls I made was really quiet. It was, I was calm and I heard I'm trained for this. No, you're fucking psycho is what it is. Anyways, um, I mean, I can, I can, I act calm, but you can tell when you're under a high, in, like in a high stress situation and you can tell when someone don't give a shit, you know what I mean? It's just kind of like, I don't know, whatever, she wants this, she wants me to call, so fuck it, that kind of thing. <clears throat> well, why am I just staring over there all of a sudden? The problems underneath you. You're sitting on the truth. No, you're, you're sitting on the problem is what I said in a different reading. That's the dust from that fucking antique chair, which was totally fine. Someone had put something in my chair because one reading I did months ago, my ass vibrated and I was like, oh, what the fuck did my butt vibrate? Someone put something in the chair and either in a hurry they ripped it out and it broke the bottom of my chair and some of that old crap fucking fell out. That's why my fucking chair is broken. That's what I thought, but I'm like, hmm, <sighs> whatever. It's the truth. So, um, it's been moved around a million times. That's probably where that fucking dream came in where I said the man was in my room listening, but wasn't talking to me. It was just all around the fucking place, you know, like moving around or moving the listening device around or whatever around. I just want to say to everyone involved in this situation for all the crap that you've put me through, you legit deserve to rot in hell. You do. And I know it's not my place to say that crap, but what the fucking what, you know, you know, you know, when you know, anywho, this is why Joe wanted me to do this. I just don't understand. I mean, I do, but I don't, it's like, I don't want to talk about it no more. I me, Jessica, I don't want to because people don't believe me anyway. So it's just like, fuck you all, you know, not my tribe. Someone else is saying that. Fuck you all. Fuck you all. The nose thing. Anyways. Um... So yeah, he calls 911. Oh, and he went downstairs a third time to get aspirin because that's what they fucking said and it tasted like shit. 
and I said I woke up in the middle of the night one night and being reminded of all this um and I literally started chewing and I heard in my head here chew on this well, I did. I chewed on an aspirin that night because that's what the 911 lady said. And I knew that was coming because they always have you do that, especially if it's potentially cardiac or whatever. And he handed that to me. And then, of course, <sighs> fucking rescue because of those calls that I made before Christmas. I'm just saying because everyone thought I was nuts. I got cleared. Like I said, I'm not whatever. Um... I'm not explaining myself anymore. I'm just saying, like, the proof is in the fucking pudding, you know? Listen to people. Listen to your fucking patients, too, you stupid doctors. No one would listen to Joe, either. They just wouldn't. They don't listen to me, either. And trust me, people will be listening after this. They legit will. Um, the fucking rescue staged up the road at the call of the wild. The RV place. They were waiting there. I kept staring at the fucking sign. <sighs> Call of the wild. Every time I drive by, I'm like, why am I so drawn to that fucking place? Like, I worked there once upon a time, but it, no, I don't want to work there again or anything. So, <sighs> yeah, they staged up the road and a cop showed up. So the cop's up here first. It's the same motherfucker I don't like, the same one that... To, wanted me to go to the loony bin because I'm a little crazy, you know? Just like, what the shit? This dude's a dick. He really is. I've spoken to him. Well, I didn't speak to him that night, but I heard his voice and I was like, oh, I don't like you. <laughs> You're the one I don't want around. And I hope you get reprimanded for being a cocksucker. I really do. And I know your face, so I'll figure out your name later. But anyways, um, I'm shaking like a motherfucker right now. Holy crap. Someone else could be, because I'm not nervous. I'm just kind of, like, irritated by this bullshit. So, because <clears throat> it's already happened, you know? And if it happens again, I've already dealt with it. I know what to do, but... um, I was just sitting here thinking all of a sudden. So, the cop's a douchebag, and asked me the same damn question that fucking... Andrew asked, and what up? Fuck, I said his name again. He's gonna get even more pissed. Oh, well, I don't care. There's a lot of Andrews. No one knows who you really are, so unless they live locally, but whatever. I just don't care. Um, so it was just fucked up. I'm just saying, it just was. It did it, it Logan's friend was across the hall, peeked in, and then took, like, closed the door or whatever. Like, I don't want to be part of this kind of thing. Didn't even check, and I was like, that's kind of weird, too, just saying. But whatever. So, um, Rescue finally shows up, and it's just... They had to call Pace to intercept because there's no medic on board with the local rescue. They're just a bunch of dingbats is what they are. And I don't care about being mean because you guys suck. You do. I guess I'm just bitching about everything, apparently. But this is how Joe would talk, <laughs> too. I'm just saying. But they do suck. Um, at least the people I ran into. Except for the time that I got... I almost passed out in um, at the down the road at the fucking convenience store. Um, I got wicked lightheaded and everything. And, of course, they took me by ambulance. But... One of the people's names, one of the workers was Don. I think the other one was Michael, actually. They were amazing. They treated me with respect. And they did their job. You know, they were they were actually the ones that transported me to the fucking psych ward and crap that night. But, and they were, they still were respectful. Like, I was just sitting there. I'm like, I'm not even fucking saying nothing, doing nothing. Like, whatever. Who cares, you know? But... So I got back. I've had many ambulance rides. <laughs> and I don't like it. But this time sucked. They put me in that stupid chair. Because they told me to get up. The cop's literally looking at me. I'm weak. I can't. I, I rolled off the bed for fuck's sake. Still can't get up. And he tells me to get up. I can't do it myself obviously. Because I wouldn't be laying on the fucking floor. If I could have gotten up. So him and one of them fucking ambulance people. The douchebag one. I remember their faces, just not their names. 
And I'll explain why I think this guy's a dick. So they put me in this chair thing to like carry me down the stairs and then, you know, into the ambulance and whatever. And I'm not even shitting you. The last time I had an ambulance ride was literally before Christmas. And, and then that night. So I don't call them and I, I didn't even call them. Somebody else did. So I'm shaking so bad. But anyways, I didn't even call them. Somebody else did. I'm in the ambulance and the guy goes, oh, it's just anxiety or something, a panic attack, which is what they say to me every fucking time. Every fucking time something happens. I'm like, that's not what it is, but whatever. I just shut up now. I don't even say a goddamn thing because I'm just like, you guys are going to think what you want in your little tiny box and whatever. So the guy, the, the other dude, they're talking to each other, basically calling me crazy, saying, oh, we go to this place all the time. She's nuts. All the time? Really? You come to my fucking house all the time? No, you don't. And you don't say that in front of your patients. That's very unprofessional. And you should be bitch slapped, sir. It's the truth. So, yeah, I don't know. Something was weird at the, with the doctor, too. Because he should have hooked me up to that fucking... Not the EKG. The, I don't fucking know. One of the machines. And, um... Because they did the EKG in the ambulance and then there's something else they hook you up to at the hospital and usually you're supposed to do it immediately because my blood pressure was through the fucking roof and my blood pressure is normal to low normally <coughs> didn't have a fever wasn't sick prior nothing it just came on like I was getting tired and crap like and that's how all this shit started anytime I've been slipped something I would get really tired first and then whatever would happen. I don't know. Because sometimes I just don't even remember. I would literally pass out for no fucking reason. It's like, what the hell? I mean, Joe would come close to passing out with his diabetes sometimes. But that's not what that was. And that's something completely fucking different. So. That's the idea. I have an idea. That's the fucking truth. That's a big reason why he won't shut up and why he is always in my fucking energy. Like, I appreciate it. And earlier today, I literally heard, you're my only friend. You're my best friend. And I'm like, yeah, Joe, you're my only fucking friend too. I'm just saying. And I was there for him in life. And he knows it. It's just a fucked up situation. And, you know, he could be a dick sometimes. Like, you know, he really could. And we used to fight. Like, we'd be like, fuck you, fuck you, you know, whatever. And then be like, oh, hey, what's going on? <laughs> it's just, I don't know. It's what it was. And I, I don't know. It's just, it was better in the beginning towards the end. I mean, he was sick and there was this discord. And it's just, I, it's fucking problems. But, um... She made him feel crazy. All that happened to me too. Someone got the same idea. Because I, I heard a long time ago in a different reading, you gave me the idea. And, I, and shit on schizophrenia and shit kept popping up on YouTube and other... I don't remember where the fuck it was, but I'm like, why is all this shit popping up? And then I remembered, I was like, oh yeah. She thought... He was, because he was paranoid and stuff. And um, I was like, the thing she was saying out to me, at least, I was like, kind of sounds like he's schizophrenic or something. Or he could be. He wasn't. He wasn't. And I know that. But I feel like she tortured him and, and dr drove him fucking, like, what the fuck, what the fuck, what the fuck. You know, I do know that some drug use and stuff can make you paranoid. Yes, it can. But he wasn't doing that shit at that time. He wasn't. Not that stuff. Like, only certain types of drugs will actually make you feel that way. I'm just saying. And that's not what he was doing during that time. Um, and I wasn't doing jack shit when this fucking happened to me. I was just like, what the fuck? 
And I haven't. And I haven't. I did a video on that. I'm not going to fucking do it again. You guys are getting my life story mixed in with Joe. I'm just saying, like, legit. It's not my life story, but it's the bullshit that's going on. Something, something, something. X marks the spot. My bed. I'm scared. My bed. My bed is even made right now. It's always made. I always make it. Well, I'm going to make it in a minute. Ow. Why'd that hurt? Um... earache in my eye I don't like what I'm hearing and seeing well you shouldn't because it's bullshit you know and it's not like oh this is fiction no it, this this shit sucks it does and it's the fucking truth you know and someone needs to speak it because I'm telling you I said people are going to fucking jail and they are they are no matter what even if I didn't say a damn thing trust me I said spirit's pissed Joe's pissed. Joe is pissed. I couldn't save him, but he's saving me. He is. He's been saving me every fucking day. I've been driving to certain places. Some of them had nothing to do with him, but the river that I am so drawn to in Waterford, I swear to God, he would go there and sit there. Because I was having all these memories of him right there. And I'm like, this is something he would do. Because I went to the store and I usually get... I was getting that space soda, the Coca-Cola one, space flavored or whatever. And um, I was drawn... I was Oh, I was wearing this. Yep. I was drawn to get a Dr. Pepper. Which I do like Dr. Pepper. But I drink diet Dr. Pepper, not regular. And I got a regular Dr. Pepper, and I'm like, all right, whatever. Got some smokes, got back in the car, headed to Waterford. Well, I know that he knew some people in the crowd that he was in out that way, but it's like a quiet place just to sit. And that's what I would do. I would literally drive to the spot. I'd drive all the way out there. Sometimes just sit there for five minutes, so maybe that's where he was doing some stuff, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah. But there were other times where he would sit there and think and cry because I cried like a bitch in the car. I just, I did. Like, I was just like, oh, I was thinking of, I was thinking of memories. I was thinking of him, actually. But I almost feel like he would sit there and think of happy memories or things and of his past, you know? Yeah, he he would. He reminisced a lot. I just heard I missed a lot. I missed a lot. I missed a lot. I'm gonna cry. Please don't make this another cry one. I know I'm picking up on somebody else, but I missed a lot. He did. He didn't go very many places because he didn't. Oh, my head. Oh, my head is ringing, it's ringing. He missed a lot because it's just how he's feeling. He was depressed. He was sick. Just there's a bunch of shit going on, and there's just problems all around. And I feel like that's a message for for his son because he's sorry that he missed so much. Like I wasn't there. Like. Like I should have been. It's almost like I died a long time ago. And I think he did, you know, because just what he went through, and sometimes trauma can crush your spirit, you know? But he's in a better place now. I mean, well, he's around here. He's in my house all the fucking time. He just <laughs> follows me around, just saying. Yeah, he's always here. I mean, he pops in and out other places because he's checking on, you know, he'll check on his family and stuff. But he brings the information right back to me. I'm just saying. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? <coughs> <clears throat> 
but there's little chirping, those birdies chirping in someone's ear. That's weird because my mom said that the um, red cardinal, which is a spiritual sign, like it's a it's spirit, spiritual messages and stuff. Usually it reminds me of my Mimi, even though on her eulogy card, there's um, a hummingbird, but there's like a, there was one on her desk and it fell and it made a loud noise when it fell behind the desk. And she was like making a joke, like, haha, maybe that's Heidi. Cause that was my old coworker and hers who passed away of, um, cancer, just went through her body and stuff. I don't think that's what that was. It's not her. It's not Heidi. No. It's Mimi. It's Mimi. Because she's my... She passed away back in 2016, but she's my great-great... No, she's my great-grandmother, right? Yeah, because she's my kid's great-great-grandmother. Because she's my mom's actual grandmother. It's her mother's mother. I've even had my grandfather, which I never... I never met... Um, like my mom's dad, I never met his father or anything. He passed away and I was like feeling like a lung issue and everything. And, and then I found out, I was like, what the shit? Like, I really got to talk to people, you know, because then I'll find out way more information. And I, I have been. Um, a lot of the way I was feeling, the way I was acting, <laughs> that was his dad. And I, I just didn't fucking know. I still haven't seen a picture of him yet, but that was his father. with Because he only had one lung. <laughs> like... Oh, I think he had a kidney issue, too. My eye just twitched, but I think he did. I think he only had one kid. No, is that his friend that only has one kidney? I don't know. He told me about a man with one kidney. My kidneys were hurting yesterday, but Andrew's grandfather passed away that way, too. So I don't know. And he's he's been getting punched in the kidneys, I'm just saying, because Grandpa's like, oh, I'm fucking here. But, <laughs> but anyways, um... Yeah, I think that's all for this one, because I don't, I don't know why. There's a reason for everything. There's a reason for everything. The reason, I just heard you'll see. You'll soon see. You'll see. It's making me think of the cross. Not the one that I was wearing. But Andrew's grandmother's cross. I was told to put that around Emma's neck. She needed to wear it to protect her from the things she might see and hear. She's not wearing it. Then I gave her a bracelet. That was my protection because that's what it was for. And it broke. I don't know if it broke on purpose or if it just broke off from her or whatever, but... Um, and it was after I was talking about if you have something of mine or I have something of yours, I can pick up on your energy. And conveniently, when I was after wearing that bracelet, she it broke. I can't wear it no more. I just got stabbed in the back. <laughs> Yep, I did. What the fuck was that about? That almost sounds like when you're crying hysterically. <laughs> Someone might get a little hysterical over something. Because I'm not exactly sure what y'all are going to see. But I've already said it. I've already said it. Multiple times. You don't always have to see to believe. But you'll see. I love you guys. I'll talk to you soon. I got personals and shit to do, so... I gotta make my bed and get situated and tell Joe to stop making me fucking vomit. Like, what the hell? That was... I mean, that literally happened to me, but it happened to him, too. And, oh, that's what it was. I had said right before 
Because when I got, when I stopped heaving and whatever, today, not, not what ha actually happened to me before. I'm like, I gotta change my shirt. I'm still in what I was in, the pajamas and crap. And, I mean, obviously, I really don't care that much. My hair is like, what the fuck? But, <laughs> my hair don't care, that's for sure. Anyways. Ooh, ouch! <sighs> I don't know what that was. It hurt. It's like it went right through my lung. Could have been a bullet. Who knows? Whew. So, I said, I got to change my shirt. And then, I've said this before and I've heard it before. Just put my sweatshirt on. And I'm like, oh, that's Joe. He wants me to put it on. So, I did. So, that's why I'm wearing this. Because I can feel him even without it. I don't need the fucking thing on. And I've proven that in other videos prior to this one. But, after, I was sitting here and I'm like, oh, I got... I don't want to puke again. I don't want to puke again. Like, don't make me puke again. Don't make me puke again. There's someone who has a weak stomach. And, and I did say the vomit in his fucking... In the house. Because he had a puke bucket there. <sighs> Smelled so bad. So bad. So someone has a weak stomach. But besides that... um, I'm like... Yeah, I gotta go get a bucket. Just in case. I gotta get a bucket. So I went downstairs to get a bucket before this reading. Even though he told me he wasn't gonna make me puke again. I don't know. So that's something that happens in that situation. Just saying. Because I never had a bucket that night. I just puked in my trash can. Because you know, it was right there. you know, And I couldn't move. So I wasn't walking nowhere. But. Yep. But I love you guys. Talk to you soon. Peace.